Hey guys, and welcome back to Alex Iceman, where we talk about startups, businesses, and entrepreneurs, and how to be successful. Today I'm heading over to a boot up a place for startups to to get better and get funds and uh, and all that jazz. We are gonna meet a CEO of You Can Event startup that I met over at Blue Startups Demo Day when I was a mentor. And he's actually calling me right now. Let, let me take that phone call. Hey, how's it going? Fine. Uh, how's it coming? Yeah, so I'll be there at uh, 107 ish, um, but I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. We are planning on talking about interesting things, and one of the most important aspects of forming your your young team, how to manage your team and uh, do it in the most efficient way when you are a startup without having an overkill and at the same time having the bigger picture of what's going on. And uh, we are set up to get a lunch and um, and discuss those things and go over a few, few interesting stuff that um, he has questions about. So uh, here you go. better. Hey guys, and uh, we're here getting a lunch with CEO of You Can't Event, Antonio Trinco. What's up guys? Nice to meet you. you a nice meal, it's amazing. <laughs> You, all, you always have to build the company with the thought in mind you're gonna sell it. Even if you're not gonna sell it, you have to think that I'm gonna sell it one day. You have to build the whole company and the whole operations with the thought in mind I'm gonna sell it one day. Because th in that way you can remove yourself from Emotional everything. Thing, yeah. And the operational side as well, because if you sell the company, if you're involved in all those processes and you, you go in and help with, to do the scrum and you help to do sales and you help to do that and that and that, you are okay to do it at a certain point, but if you're too too deep into those operations, if they remove yourself from the company, the company will fall off. There's no value in it, so you kind of have to build it as, as you were to sell it. I would split things up in the way that you can see progress in two weeks. Like don't take on a huge task that will take a month and then you will see the results at the end of the month. No. Just take two weeks, um, including testing. Like this feature has to be tested. That would be great, so you can plan a feature Developers do that, they test it for a few days, fix bugs, and then they do a demo at the end of the sprint. And that's what, like, I usually run sprints from Wednesday to Wednesday. And that, there is a reason why, because you can do a rollout either on Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, it's better actually to do rollouts Tuesday and Wednesdays, because they'll never do rollouts on Friday. Like, Friday, no, no, no Friday, never. Never roll out a feature on Friday. Like, just cross it from, from the rest of your life. We've just finished our lunch and uh, we've talked about a lot of interesting stuff, how to deal with uh, teams and organized teams. And uh, now heading over to the next journey. Uh, 
Bye. Next time, bye. Bye.